guys, welcome back. My name is Rainier. I'm no chef, but I love good food. I discovered this really interesting way of cooking called sous vide. Now, I haven't got the right equipment, so I'm just going to improvise. Follow me. I am fortunate enough to have a Kenwood Cooking Chef, which is an amazing machine. Now, what I'm going to do with this, you can set the temperature. So I'm going to use 60 degrees because that is what I want the internal temperature of my steak to be. And the steak I'm going to use is some beautiful marbled ribeye steak. I have two eight ounce pieces of ribeye steak. You can see they're beautifully marbled. So two knobs of butter, plastic bag where everything is going to sit in, some thyme, pink rock salt, some crushed up garlic, and some coarse ground black pepper. This is actually a very simple process. All I'm gonna do is put some salt, pepper, garlic, a knob of butter, some thyme, and, and that's it. And on this side we put some salt, some pepper, A little bit more garlic, not much. And now, a knob of butter on each. Yes, I know it's not healthy, but you don't eat this every day. Put our sprig of thyme in two, one for each. It's time to put our seasoned steaks into the bag. Now what you do is, I've just got a Ziploc bag. I'm just gonna fold over like one third of it. And then nestle these babies right down in there. That's the one. Folding over the bag has a reason. It keeps the sealing area nice and clear, and there's no spices or anything that's gonna stop it from sealing. I'm gonna take you over to my sink so I can show you how to take the air out. There are a few ways to take out the air. For one, you can take a straw and suck out the air, but my favorite method is to fill up a large container full of water and just slowly submerge the bag into that, making sure that your zip line is above the water line. Slowly the water will take out all the air and seal it. And there we go, it's almost like it's vacuum sealed. As I said, I'm fortunate enough to have this Kenwood Cocking Chef. Now what I do is I put my spatula on without the rubber attachments and this is just to get the water evenly heated. I'll put it on 60 degrees and speed 3. While the Kenwood's heating up let me tell you another way to improvise sous vide cooking. Use your stove top. Take a big pot, fill it up with water and get it to the right temperature. Just use a digital thermometer and you can get your temperature quite accurate. And as long as you can keep it stable, you can have a proper sous vide meal. The Kenwood's come up to the right temperature. All I need to get, do to get my meat in there is the following. I switch it off, lift up my head, take off my spatula, and I put the meat in the water bath. Close the head and I turn it to speed three. That way the temperature is going to be kept and all I need to do now is to set the timer for an hour and a half I'd say. It's almost time
time to take the meat out of the water bath. So what I'm going to do now is heat up my pan, a very heavy bottom pan, to a squeeching hot temperature. And we're going to sear the meat in there for about 30 seconds each side. It's time to take the meat out of the machine. So what I'm going to do is just switch it off. Lift up the head and take out the bag. Now initially the meat is going to be very anemic looking but we're going to remedy that by giving it a good sear in the pan. As you can see the pan is smoking over there. So, oh they're so soft they're going to fall apart. Now excuse the noise but I have to use the extractor fan. I'm going to rub some oil on it, not in the pan. And then as I said before, 30 seconds each side. Now guys, the moment of truth. Let's dig into this. Here you can see, beautifully pink all the way through. And it's extremely tender. I don't know if you saw, I just used one stroke with a knife. Oh, so tender, so juicy. Go try this at home. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.